so much for joining me today for another video. I'm gonna be working on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. This paint right here is from a previous pour. It is the table paint. So it's got multitude of colors in it, but I thought it was such a beautiful, kind of light, light blue slate color. I, I just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on my canvas. And these paints are a little bit thicker, so I don't know how exactly this is gonna go, but we are getting ready to find out. That should be more than enough. Let me, let me grab my spatula and just kind of spread this out some, and then I'll tilt it. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Now, it's going to dry darker. Paints dry darker, but I thought it was just a gorgeous color. I love it. It's not a baby blue. It's got Payne's Gray in it, which I'm sure is what's making it the darker color. Gonna go ahead and torch my air bubbles. Get those out of there. Now this paint, like I said, was from my table. I strained it through a strainer because there was clumps that came. When I scraped my table, I had clumps. So I went ahead and I strained it through a strainer and that way I hopefully won't have near as many little pieces that I've gotta pick out. All right, and here's my cup, and I am going to start with a little bit of white. Just a little bit on the bottom. And I'll put all the colors in the description below. This is Payne's Gray. A little bit of gold. This is a beautiful Arctic color. I love that color. It's so soft and so pretty. I just think it goes beautifully with this Payne's Gray and the gold. A little bit more Payne's Gray. This is a turquoise green. So pretty. Look at the beautiful stripes. Okay, and I'm gonna pour this on the canvas and then we are gonna stretch this out. There we go. Gonna give us some interesting patterns. There we go. That's so cool. All right, I'm going to pop the air bubbles in this. It's a lot of gold right there. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this base color around the edges. In fact, I've got enough. I think I can probably just, there we go, stretch this out some without me having to add a whole lot more. Oops, dripping. Oh, I love the way it goes in and out. All right, I think I'll turn it this way so you can see me. There we go, because I'm going to push it that way first. I love that green, that Arctic, it's beautiful. Pull it back. There we go. I'll turn it around again. So cool. And I'm going to tilt it Oop. this way. Keep that 
facade and do that one last area. All right. Wow. So pretty. So pretty. Didn't quite get that corner. I'm Like I said, I can come back and get that. Okay. I think I want to break some of this gold up. Right here. It's a lot of gold. I love gold, but that seems to be quite a bit, a little too much. As much as I love that Arctic blue color, it looks out of place right there. So I'm gonna come in with a little bit of this Payne's Gray and break some of this up. That's just too much of that. Too, too much. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a little bit of this teal color. And we're gonna tilt this one more time. It's just too much of that solid color there. The other thing is too, is if I got finished with the painting and something didn't look right, you can always paint over it. Let it dry and then touch it up. Okay, one more tilt that way. But I'm loving the colors. Loving the colors. There we go. Just pushing a lot of that off. And I'm going to come back with it. Stretch it this way and then come back this way. Okay. I love, I love the way this did. That is so cool. And we'll come back this way just a hair. Open this up a little bit. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. So interesting. It's beautiful. I'm going to bring you down for some details. Okay, here's the overall piece. All the details. This base is going to dry a little bit darker. How gorgeous is that? This is the area that I wasn't happy with because it had that green in like this right here. I love it now. It's my favorite part. I just think that's super cool. Really, really like it. It's beautiful. Look at the cells and the lacing in here. The softness. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Lots of details. Parts of it look like a geode to me. It's just pretty. Look at the depth in that with the deep, deep, dark 
paints gray and the gold around it. Almost looks 3D. That's so cool. Yeah, I really like it. I think it turned out beautiful. But I think it's I think it's really pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.